Shingeki no Kyojin episodes 21 and 22. So Erwin is suggesting the fact that when the Colossal Titan attacked five years ago, the person who was inside the Titan at the time had the um, equipment already on so that when the steam happened, then he could escape and just look like another one of the soldiers. But they're like, remember how, like, when Eren came out, he didn't have his equipment and he was so exhausted. So, I mean, that, that can't be right. They're like, you know, he's a novice. He doesn't know what he's doing. The other ones probably have more experience. Outside the forest, John and Armin are discussing like, oh, we're retreating right now, so maybe that means we were successful. And Armin concludes that um, someone saw Eren turn into a titan, which made the other titans stop their assault on the city, because that meant something. So back with Eren, they're flying through the trees and Gunther is dead, so they're like, quick, we just have to protect Eren, go! But we, we keep seeing this mysterious character who's following them. And Shazam, the female titan, is back. So the soldiers say, hurry, Eren, you keep going, we'll take care of the female titan. Of course, Eren doesn't want to do it, but he, he runs away, and he's like, I believe in my squad! They manage to blind her. And they're going in, they're just like, we're gonna kill her, we're not gonna capture her. She's, of course, covering the back of her neck, so they start attacking her shoulders so that she can't hold her arms up anymore, so they can get to the nape of her neck. They're doing a super awesome job. It looks like they're gonna be successful. <gasps> oh! No! Erd! Uh! Oh, Petra! Oh! I didn't expect these guys to die! Oh, oh and the last guy, Oluro? Oluro? I don't know his name. <laughs> he tried- Oh! He's dead too! Thought he was gonna get away. <gasps> Those three people! <laughs> oh, crazy. So of course this prompts Eren to turn back, and then turn into a titan, and now he's gonna fight her. And everyone hears Eren roaring, and they're all like, oh gosh, we should check that out, including Levi and Mikasa and uh, Erwin. So the female titan still can't use her arms, because they're all messed up. So Eren appears to have an advantage. And he's in Hulk smash mode! He's... there is no reasoning with him right now. And Levi is on his way back too, and he sees all the dead people, and he's... He doesn't look very happy about that. It seems like Eren is actually able to have cohesive thoughts as he fights. And he's like, I should have turned into a titan from the very beginning and killed her, rather than trying to believe in the comrades and allowing them to fight, because they would have lived. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> this, uh, this is serious. Oh, oh, almost, almost. Uh, so she hardened her hand and punched him in the face, but then he punched back. It seemed like she was going to retreat, but then she decided to stay and keep fighting. Oh! <laughs> She's, she basically like sliced off his head, or half of his head anyway. <laughs> and then she bites him out of the neck. She bites the little Eren out of the Titan neck. Huh. And she swallows him just as Mikasa's there to see it. And Mikasa has this moment where she's like, no, don't go! But then she's like, serious face, I will fix this! And she chases after the female titan. And Mikasa's basically in Hulk smash mode now. And she's trying to continue chasing. And then Levi grabs her, and he, he's like, no, we have to retreat for now. And they follow her from a distance, from a safe distance. <sighs> now let's watch episode 22. And Levi's like, Eren's probably dead. But Mikasa's like, no! No, he's alive! Levi had this funny moment when he finally recognized Mikasa, and he's like, Oh, you're Eren's friend, okay. Well, in that case, um, let's try to get him out of the stomach. Like, it seemed to completely change his attitude about what needed to be done. And so he wants to get Eren out of the stomach, and he says, You distract the female titan, and I will just hack away at her until we can get Eren out. <laughs> We're finally getting to see... <laughs> Levi in all of his glory. Yikes. Oh! Ouch! So, um, Mikasa sees an opening, and so she tries to go in and attack, and Levi's like, Oh, I told you to just distract her! 
And so he pushes her out of the way, and then he kind of twists his ankle. I don't know if he just rolled it over or if he broke it, but whatever it is, it's going to be bothersome. It seems like he kind of knocked out the female titan and was able to get Eren and save him. So he's apparently not dead. So then they retreat, and Levi looks back and he sees that the female titan seems to be crying. And now they're heading back to the, the walls, the civilization. Oh, we're seeing the families of the people who were killed. <laughs> oh, that's so mean. Gunther and Oluo and Erd and Petra. Ugh. And of course tons of other people died too, but those are the people with names. Now they're handling all the bodies. They have to stack them up. Armin and John are chatting and Sasha and Connie are chatting. About all, they're all wondering about, you know, thinking about death. How can you not at a time like this, you know? So there are a couple of bodies they couldn't retrieve because there are titans in the area. So they're like, well, I mean, I guess we just have to put them down as missing in action because, you know, we can't do anything about it. And then there are a couple of other guys being like, no, we have to retrieve all of the bodies. But Erwin and Levi have to just be like, no, sorry. Oh, no, those guys went back for the bodies and now titans are chasing them. Oh, no. One of them is being eaten, and they lost the body. And everyone else realizes that they have to fight, but there's really no big trees or buildings nearby, so they're at a real big disadvantage. Another more coming! Levi orders them to <sighs> drop out all of the bodies um, so that they can get away. <sighs> this is the worst. Oh. So without the weight of the bodies, the wagons are able to, you know, be fast enough to get away. Oh. That was rough! The one guy, the guy who originally wanted to go back for the bodies, he survived, but the other people in his group didn't. And so Levi kind of takes him aside for some words. Levi gives him the, the patch from one of the bodies, the, the jacket, and he says, here you go, this is proof that he was alive. Now Aaron's having a flashback before he uh, joined the uh, recon troops. Before he was even a soldier, this is I think back when mom was still alive, and this is when the recon troops all came back from a mission outside the wall. This might be the same instance that happened at the beginning of the show, right? But this time around he doesn't go and hit someone with a stick. He, you know, controls himself and now he's an older version of himself. And on the wagon he suddenly wakes up. And then Mikasa has the job of explained it, explaining to him that the female titan got away, and the plan failed. And now the wounded soldiers have to march through town. Um, not, not even any bodies. Aaron looks out and he sees children watching them in the crowd, even though some of the other people are looking down on them. And then all of a sudden Petra's dad runs up to Levi and he's like, Yeah, I'm so excited to see Petra! She loves the job! Blah, blah, blah! And, oh god. <laughs> so the utter failure and the amount of casualties just makes it so it's like humiliating for them. Apparently, Aaron's gonna get a new supervisor. Hmm, who's that gonna be? Hmm. I imagine he'll be sent to the police force, guys. Like to go into the, the capital. Uh, the main city. Uh, but then again, they might not want to put him in the, in the capital, considering he could turn into a titan. <laughs> Anyway, those two episodes were super depressing! My god! Ugh! That couldn't have gone more terribly! And I was... Ugh! I know at the beginning of the series, I set myself up for the understanding that people were gonna die. And I fell out of that... Um, I fell out of that, uh, security. And then when those... When those... Main... Those guys died, I just... That was... Very surprising. It caught me off guard. Ugh, it was hard to watch. Anyway, the next Shingeki no Kyojin video is going to be a triple feature of the last three episodes. I can't believe the series is almost over, at least the season. I, again, I don't know about a second season. I don't have that information yet, but um, we'll see what happens when it happens, I guess. So I'll see you next time for the final three episodes. Bye!